Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema, and today I will be showing you guys a kind of overdue fa effect that uh, you might have already learned by now, but uh, I thought I should make a tutorial about it anyways. So, um, what we're going to be doing is, call is similarly called the Predator Missile Effect. So let me pre-render it for you guys really quick. And uh, you probably already saw it, but here we go. Alright, now... Um, basically, if you didn't catch what's going on, he opens his laptop, and instead of actually controlling the Predator missile, he watches it on his laptop kind of thing. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have my clip, and uh, you should just go ahead and uh, prime your clip, you know, get a video track above it. And uh, let's go ahead and scroll through our clip, and let's find the moment we want um, the laptop to be open and playing the video. So let's say right about... Uh, let's say right about here so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna split the clip by pressing S and then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the snapshot save snapshot the file and we're gonna click that and just save it wherever and uh, it should automatically go in your project media so let's go ahead and uh, re uh, separate the clip and uh, drag our image in between there now what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to our footage the second half of our footage and now we're gonna go to the part where we want the video to start like the actual video so let's make the video start right about when the pre right here. So let's go ahead and split that, and uh, let's bring it now. Drag it up so the the video tracks on top of the image and the audio's on below. And uh, let's go ahead and drag it right on top of there and snap it in. Now basically, what you want to do is you want to mute the top track so we can see this middle track right here, and we're going to work with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the event pan crop of the image. Now we're going to go down to mask, we're going to check mask, and uh, make sure you have your anchor creation tool selected, and let's go ahead and zoom in here, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, mask out the blue screen. Now you can take your time and actually mask out the thumb, because it'll actually work, the video will be, ha be behind the thumb, um, but I'm just going to rush through this pretty quickly, um, just for the sake of time here. Um, so actually, you know what, let's, uh, let's go ahead and go around the thumb just very briefly and uh, there we go you know it doesn't actually have to be pretty um, you can kinda rush and uh, get this very good effect uh, by just uh, a few uh, tips so anyways go to the path and uh, change that to negative so it's uh, instead of uh, cropping out everything but the screen um, we crop out the screen now you'll see um, maybe you'll have some blue left around the edges or the thumbs really sharp or you know something else um, what you want to do is go to feather type and let's do both and uh, let's add the feather to about uh, one, two, and um, let's actually see how much we can. All right, let's do. Here, let's. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's set this back to zero, and uh, let's do out. Now let's see. There we go. Let's do one on out because it gets rid of that screen, and uh, the thumb looks pretty good now. Um, so, anyways, now that we have that, what you want to do is unmute the the uh, track. Um, unmute the. Uh, top track and actually let's switch places with these um, let's put the image on top sorry about that I forgot and uh, let's put the video on the bottom so now what you want to do is you want to go to the event pan crop of the actual footage now what you want to do is zoom out and let's uh, make this a little smaller by dragging on the box and making it out a little more and uh, let's go ahead and make sure you have lock aspect ratio checked and size about center checked now let's go ahead and just you know basic pan crop and let's try and angle this right now we don't have to get this exactly perfect actually we're gonna get this far from perfect and uh... now once you have it centered let's zoom back in a little bit more until all the black is gone and uh... let's center that up a little bit more um, like so and uh... we're basically done now make sure your image is as long as the footage um... you can just extend the image by clicking and dragging on it and uh... it should extend it now let's go ahead and uh... preview this by scrolling frame by frame i'm not gonna pre-render it um, but uh, let's see, opens up the laptop and boom, switches to the Predator missile and uh, it plays a video for him and uh, let's go ahead and add the finishing touch which is getting off the laptop um, so right here uh, you see how it uh, sprays like that so let's go ahead and end this image right where we right where it has all that fuzz, let's end the image and delete it so but now you have that, uh, that fuzz is all like crazy um, go ahead and let's uh, split the clip right here at the end of the image now let's go ahead and find our place where we get our laptop back so right there right 
here is where we get our laptop back so let's uh, split the clip so we don't have any of that fuzz in the beginning of that and drag it um, to the end so I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast here but uh, it should look correct now and uh, oops actually go back into the pan and crop of this end clip uh, open that up and uh, what you want to do is right click on it and hit restore so what you get all your correct dimensions there and uh, so now we should be pretty fine um, the fuzz goes and then boom comes back and then you close your laptop and in real time you'll see none of the uh, little like kind of fast transitions it'll be all be pretty smooth when you're watching it because this is only a matter of like five or so seconds um, so anyways guys I apologize apologize if I went fast uh, just uh, take the video and pause it you know do what you need to do and uh, I'll see you guys next time make sure you to submit your tutorials with the annotation on the screen and uh, check out my minecraft channel if you would like as well and uh, I'll see you guys next time